It's Linda Kanase with iCrafter, and I, this is a quick little tutorial to show you how to assemble the mailbox box card. And this is an adorable Valentine's theme, but you could use it any time of the year. And it's a fun little box card, and there are 15 dies in here. But I'm going to use the main shapes to create the box card and show you what you can make before you go on and embellish it with all these cute designs. So these are the main pieces you want to die cut. There is the main part. You want to cut two of those. There is the um, larger embellishment heart or heart embellishment piece, which will be the shape to add some uh, colors to the front of your card. There is a large heart. That will be another embellishment piece. There are two of these side pieces, which are these panels that go on the side here to embellish that. And then there's a little flag, which of course you can't have any kind of mailbox without a little flag in there. So, and you'll need some liquid adhesive. So let me go ahead and show you how to assemble this really quickly. So on these pieces, the two bigger pieces, you have crease lines along the side. So you just wanna fold those back and what I would suggest is using your eye press burnisher tool and give it a good press and then do it both directions so your card will fold both directions easily. Okay, and you want to do that to both pieces. And, and then turn it this way just to make sure it has a it can fold both directions easily. Now you want to fold them one facing forward so the folds are facing forward towards you and then one where the folds are facing back. Okay so I'm going to set that down. I'm going to add the embellishments first because they're just easier at this time. So let me add and when you make this in whatever pattern paper you want to use, you can use the cutest little Valentine card stock. Um, this could even be letters to Santa. Wouldn't that be cute at Christmas time? Uh, so, okay, so you want to center that. And that is moving about a little bit. And I didn't put a ton of glue on that, but you could hold that down there. And then what you can do now, in fact, is do the side panels. Now, I would suggest you add these side panels on the sides that go back, and because that'll give you a nice finished fold in the front. So again, you want, let me bring the camera in a little bit closer. This will give you a really cute way to embellish this um, with whatever colored cardstock you want. And it adds a real cute theme to this. So let me do that. And I find it is easier to embellish this, at least this outer part, before you glue everything together. So that is the front panel. And of course you want to embellish it really, you know, tons of little hearts, whatever you want to do, at, um, before you put it together. Um, we can even, let me do this, I can even glue the little flag down. Now you can poke a hole in here and you can do it with um, a, a brad so it's movable, but I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive here and this is going to be how we put the flag on the side panel, okay? Now, the next part is really simple, I'm gonna set that aside for right now, is so the back part of the card, you just want to put adhesive on this whole side and put a fair amount because it's going to hold everything together. And you just glue that to that. Okay. So let that set up a little bit. And then you just want to lean it over to the other side and this is what makes it nice and flat you want to put adhesive on this panel 
fold it in and again put a fair amount and we're just going to fold it over and this is where you adjust it to make sure it's square and you could see already we have a box card for me so there's the front you can see the side but now it's there are a ton of other embellishments there's like the word mail there are I love all these hearts look at all these different heart shapes that come with this set um, so you can just keep die cutting all of these into different colors but again, those are embellishment pieces, so you could add it as you go. But I want to show you how you can add the heart to it. Now, the large heart that holds most of the pieces. You can add it to the back panel if you want, or you could add it to the front panel. I'm going to add it to the back. Now, the thing you want to know or realize is that when it folds flat, if you want it to fit in a certain size envelope, get a ruler here. It is so four and a quarter wide. It's probably a little bit wider when, yeah, it fits four and a half. So the maximum you want to go if you want to fit in an A2 envelope is five and a half inches high. So you kind of want to watch how high you put this heart back here so it does fit in an envelope or a um, standard A2 envelope. I'm just going to add some adhesive on the bottom here and kind of here's another way to do it is to do five and a half inches put my heart back here and just see where five and a half kind of takes me and before the glue dries I'm just going to check if I like the angle of that heart back there now what you can do is once you like where that heart is when you do the embellishments, you can add, and these are the dies themselves, but if you cut paper, you can add all kinds of hearts on both levels. And how cute is that? You can do the word male across here and just do other hearts. How cute is that? So that is a really simple way to make this box card. How sweet would that be for someone to receive? And it's just the cutest little thing. So that is the mailbox box card designed by Lori Whitlock. Really simple. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.